All right, we are going, or I am going to talk about the exterior or outside light test. So what's probably gonna happen is when you go to test, you're gonna get to the location and there's gonna be like a break room type area. Tester will check your credentials in that area. And then when it's your turn, the tester is gonna send you outside to the bus and have you adjust your seat and your mirrors and your seat belt to yourself. Um, and then, so you can actually have the key already in here. And then when she comes out, uh, the tester comes out, most likely they're going to just stay outside because they're going to know like you're going to do your exterior light test first. So to do the light test, the bus needs to be in the run position. Okay, run. And then um, I'm going to show you what switches we use. So this is our headlights right here. Yeah, stop blurring. So we don't use the down position. That That's running lights. We don't use that. So it's either going to be in the middle for off, or if you turn it to the top, then the headlights are on. And then over here, we have all these lovely, lovely switches. But for the intents and purposes of this one, um, the only one of... So the, the first switch over here we're going to use is the one here next to the yellow. This is our... ID markers or clearance lights. So anytime you drive the bus day or night, your headlights and your ID markers need to be on. Okay, so those are the first two things. There's your headlights, there's your ID markers. Turn those off for a moment. And then with your headlights on, you got it uh, on the front, you're gonna test the brights. So this one right here, you push it and see there's the indicator for it that shows that it's working. So you pull it, let me kind of, so you can kind of look over here and see the indicator too. So you pull it towards you, it, turn, it turns it off, you push it away. So that is your brights. Okay. Then we have this over here as well is also your left turn signal, your right turn signal, and then you have to make sure during the test always to, and when you're driving, anytime you're doing your four-way hazards during the test, you have to go around, around the steering wheel. So you're going to go around and you're going to hit this and that's your four-way hazards. Now outside the bus, your turn signals and your four-way hazards are the same bulbs. Okay. So um, we have headlights, ID marker, brights, left turn signal, right turn signal, four-way hazards. Then back over here, we have our eight-way light system. So four-way hazards, these guys, this is what all vehicles have, cars have them. So when you break down on the side of the road, you, know, you, have, you have the two lights flashing in the front and the two in the back. That's why they're the four-way hazards. Over here, we have um, switches for our eight-way light system. So on the top of school buses, we have amber lights and red lights for bus stops. You've been, I'm sure you've been behind a school bus. As you're coming up to a stop, you see on the top of the bus, you see the amber lights flashing, letting you know I'm slowing down, I'm gonna stop, and then you see the reds flashing, the stop paddle comes out in the crossing arm. So it's really, 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 really important that you know the difference between the four-way hazards and the eight way the eight light system the reason that the um the top the lights around the top are the eight way system is because there's eight lights we have an amber and a red together so two on the left front corner two on the right front corner and then same on the back so four-way hazards are the ones down here and then your eight way ambers and reds are the ones on the top of the bus so over here separately um Next to, this is the switch that opens our service door. We'll do that later. But next to that up here is your amber warning lights. And then it says override. Okay, so you turn your ambers on. And when you do that, you want to definitely, like there's a little, there's an indicator light here, but you definitely want to look in your crossover mirror out here and verify that you can see them flashing before you say that your test, why is, I do this that you're testing them um, because sometimes when you if you when you hit this it doesn't actually turn them on you have to make sure you hit it right and you want to double check and make sure that they're flashing before you say you're testing them 
The reason this is called an override is, so here's how this works. Okay, so you're coming up to a school bus stop. Your eight-way ambers are on, right? Because you have four amber lights on the top of your bus flashing right now. You have one, two, and then two in the back. As you're approaching the stop, um, it the next step would be to hit, once you come to a stop, before you open the door, you're going to use your, you're going to hit your red switch to put your reds out to stop traffic to make sure it's safe to open the door and let the students on and off the bus. If you forget to hit this red button, you can, and you go and you open the door, there's an override that should come out, meaning even though you haven't hit your switch, your, your reds are going, your reds are still gonna be coming on. The reason, even if you accidentally forget and you, you open the door and the reds come out, that, sh you should, that should hopefully trigger you. You still want to hit this because if you don't, then when you shut the door, your reds are going to pull in at the same time. And when you're at a bus stop, the very, very last thing that you want to do is pull those reds in. So you need to control that. So it's also called an override because it overrides the ambers. So if your ambers are flashing... It's hard to see, but you can kind of see they're flashing. You do not have to turn them off before doing your reds. You just hit your red switch and see it's gonna cancel and override those ambers and turn into reds. Okay, so the reason that this has an off switch, all right, so we're gonna pretend I'm coming up to a bus stop. Um, I have my ambers on because I'm slowing down. I come to a stop there are no children at the stop. I'm not gonna put my reds out. I'm not gonna stop traffic. I'm just gonna cancel my ambers and move on. Now I'm coming up to the next bus stop. My ambers are on, I come to a stop, there's kids. I'm gonna make sure that I check both ways before I put my reds out. I'm gonna put my reds out. I'm gonna open the door, let them in, okay, but my reds. So that's why there is an off switch, but you don't need to turn the ambers off to use the reds. The red will override it. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so these are also, uh, we are also going to test our external am, uh, eight-way system, okay. So, backing it up, in my brain, there are, I do three sequences. Um, your left turn signal, right turn signal, and four-way hazards, exact same front and back. You're testing those, the front and back. Eight-way ambers, eight-way reds, same, front and back. The difference is, so, and then when it comes to um, headlights, so your ID markers are going to be the same front and back as well. So, so far, most of the terms and the switches we use are the same. The two differences between the front and the back. The front, it's still the exact same switch, but in the front, it's called headlights, and in the back, they are called tail lights. right? Think about a tail coming out of a book. That's what I do. So even though it's going to be the same switch here, when you're doing the front lights, you call it headlights. When you're doing the rear lights, it is tail lights. The other difference is in, on the front, you're going to do your high beams. On the rear, you are going to do your service brake, your brake lights. This is acceleration. This is your service brake. This is your air brake. Just saying. Okay. So... When I get on, what I like to do, the tester will be kind of outside here on the corner of your bus. Your window will be open. Um, I'm not going to open it and I'm not going to yell really loud right now. Um, but basically your window would be open and you want to talk loud enough that the tester can hear you. So when they're on the front, you're, you know, you're going to talk a little louder, but when they're in the back, you're going to be yelling. Like, want to make sure they can hear you. In addition, when you're testing your lights, you want to kind of do a little pause so in case they don't hear you, they still see what you're testing and mark it off on their sheet. Testers have a sheet that they have to check everything off on, okay? So the way that I do it is I put the headlights slash taillights, ID marker, and high beam slash brake together. Three things, those three are a sequence because when I'm doing the front, I think there's three things. There's a headlight, there's ID markers, and there's high beams. When I'm doing the back, I'm like, there's three things. Tail lights, ID markers, 
and my break. For me, if I lump it into the sequence of three like that, it really helps me remember to do the break when I'm doing the rear. Then I do, I put my turn signals and four-way hazards together because they're next to each other and they are the same bulbs outside. Also on the front, after the high beams, I go right into the left turn signal because I'm already here. Then in my brain, my third sequence would be my eight-way ambers and eight-way reds. So that's how I kind of lump them together. So what this kind of looks like, and again, your window would be open and you'd be kind of yelling a little loud, but um, on the front, I don't pause as long as I do. On the back, I pause longer. I'm going to demonstrate. And I, with each light, I do say I am testing my, because that's also giving you the additional time. Like by the time you're finished saying, I am testing my headlights and then pause for like two seconds on the front, maybe three seconds on the back. That gives the tester enough time to see the light and check it off. So, and I talk, I try to talk a little slower. I know I talk fast. I've been told that. And clearer when I'm testing. So the way that I would do this is I'm going to tell the tester I'm ready to start my exterior light check. I'm going to start with my front exterior lights. I am testing my headlights. I am testing my ID markers. I am testing my high beams. I'm going to turn my high beams off. I'm going to turn my headlights off. I'm going to turn my ID markers off because we're going to have to do those again. So that's my first sequence. I am testing my left turn signal. I am testing my right turn signal. I am testing my four-way hazards. I am testing my eight-way ambers. I am testing my eight-way reds. I am now ready to do my rear exterior light check. So the tester is going to walk along the side of the bus and you're going to make sure that you can see them in this mirror and they should give you like a thumbs up or wave to you when they're ready. So make sure you wait till they're ready and then you're going to kind of lean and talk louder. And as you notice, when I say I am testing my, like I am turning it on as I start to say that too, because that gives me the full amount of time. I am, so you can see, I go, I am testing my headlights. And then I go like one, two, and I kind of pause. So now on the back, you're going to see me pause a little longer. I am testing my tail lights. I am testing my ID markers. I am testing my brake lights. I am testing my left turn signal. I am testing my right turn signal. I am testing my four-way hazards. I am testing my eight-way ambers. Make sure they're on. I am testing my eight-way reds. That completes my exterior light check. A note about the service brake. Do not push it all the way to the floor when you are doing your light check. Every time, this is an air brake system, so every time you push this service brake all the way down to the floor, it releases air. As the air releases, once it gets to around 60 PSI, warning alarms are going to go off because if your air tank was leaking, it would warn you. So if you push this down all the way while you're doing your brake test and you release too much air, those alarms are going to come on earlier than you want them to. So all you need to do on the brake test is just push this down a little bit. That's going to show the lights. It's not going to release any air. All right, that is all the tips that I have for the exterior light check. And then once you're done with that, you know, you're going to you're going to open the door. You're going to let the tester inside the bus, shut the door, and then you're going to move on to your air brake and brake test.